In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a very quick and easy way you can achieve the film look in your photos using either Lightroom or Photoshop. And if you don't really know much about photo editing in general and you just want to achieve this film look in your photos, then this video is definitely for you. Now, the first thing you will do is obviously import your photo to Lightroom. And the plugin that we're going to be using here to achieve the film look is called the Enhancer. I've been testing this out for like the past few weeks. It has been an amazing way I've been able to achieve film look in a lot of my photos. This has definitely been a game changer for me. So the first thing I'm going to be doing here is increasing the exposure, maybe reducing the contrast a bit and increasing the highlights. And you guys are going to find out why I'm increasing the highlights much later in the video and um you can increase the shadow a bit and reduce the blacks to bring back that contrast now when making adjustments like this one thing that you always like to do is make reference to the original image so you know how far you are from the original image itself so i also like to um, change my clarity by a little bit i won't add any vibrance maybe my tone curve but i'll just be using the um, um rg part of the tone curve just as part of the tone curve, I won't be going to any of the other colors. So just have to make sure I'm not going overboard with any of my adjustments. Just adjust it enough to have everything looking good. I'm trying to keep the adjustments as minor as possible. You can always reference and see, you know, how far off you are from the original. And that's what we're going to do for the tone curve. My saturation, maybe I'm going to like reduce some of the colors that I feel like are excess in the photo. Maybe reduce the saturation of the red a bit. And the yellow too. By a lot. So I won't be doing anything with the color grading, the sharpening, or any of the um, calibration, anything like that. But since I'm using this plugin, I'm just going to be doing very, very minor adjustment. Maybe the temperature a little bit to bring back um, some of the colors. But this is the before and after in Lightroom. As you can see, it's very, very minor adjustments. And the next step here is where we are going to move in the photo right over to the answer. We're going to the editing, then you choose the answer. And it's going to um, load the image. And all you have to do is just choose edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Now here is the Deancer interface. One thing I like about this plugin is that right off the bat, it's quite straightforward to use and I'm going to be running you guys through how you can use the plugin. I would like to make this as simple as possible for anyone that doesn't really know much about photo editing and just wants to make it as quick as possible, edit their photos and just export it. So I'm going to leave it directly in the description where you guys can get this plugin. You can also use my code David10 for a 10% discount. Right here is where you have the different film profiles. You can see that they have a heart on some of the profiles here and these are some of the profiles that I've been able to choose as my favorites, the ones I would like to use over and over again. Another great feature here is that you also get to see a little preview of what each of the profile look like. I think I'm liking this. So for this image, I'm going to be using this Kodak Vision 3 500T. Now this film profile is what I think um, suits this image best right now. You can always zoom in to look at the skin and any areas of the picture you might want to adjust. So the next place we'll be moving over to the features panel. This panel is where yeah, you can add film grain, you can adjust the temperature, the black point, the white point, and every other part of the image that you want to adjust. Personally, I usually don't like to you know, dig much into all of this since I've already done most of my adjustments in Lightroom already. If I need to, I can always adjust the exposure a bit to fit the plugin better. Maybe I can bring it down a little bit. Depending on the film profile you're using, you can always adjust your contrast and your exposure. Some of my favorite features on this plugin is the film grain halation and bloom. Now film grain, you're able to add a bit of film grain. You can always choose from like the analog type and the digital um, film grain too. And these are the different modes and options that you have here. There's so much flexibility on each option. You're able to adjust the film grain in the shadows, the mid-tones, the highlights, etc. If you're not very familiar with any of these terms, one thing I would always advise you to do is probably focus on the amount here. That this basically chooses the intensity of how much film grain you want on the photo. That this is a whole lot, and maybe try to add maybe a very little bit amount of film grain here. It's very subtle there and I like it how it is. Next thing I always do is move out to halation. And this is one of the reasons why I kept the highlights a bit higher in Lightroom. 
this way you can see the effect of the halation, especially on um, our outfit here. Yeah? So if I turn the halation off, you can see that the little red on the highlights or on the edges are not there anymore. If I turn the halation on, you can see that they are back there. You can always click mask mode to see the different parts of the image where the halation effect has um, affected. You can always click that off to see the original image as well. So one thing I always like to click the max mode and maybe adjust the amplify slider here. Maybe keep it a little bit, make, make it a little bit subtle and keep it down and then you bring that back. This is one of the things that has definitely contributed to the overall look of the image. If you are not very, very familiar with most of these parameters here, one thing that I would like you to do is probably focus on just amplify. This can definitely do as much as you want it to, to make the effect more pronounced and so also reduce the intensity of the effect too. Moving over to the bloom, let's turn this on and then maybe turn on the mask mode to show you guys where this has affected. You can always increase the like amplifier right here to show you what this effect has done. Now it definitely like adds that dreamy look to the photo before bloom. And this is after bloom. Like I said, you can always just adjust the amplifier to keep it a little bit low. And then maybe vignettes, if you want some vignettes here, image. This is before, this is after. If you want to see the image right before we exported it to the answer, what, all you have to do is just to click this preview checkbox here. This is before and this after. You can always make the effects as dramatic as you want it to be. You can always keep it as subtle as you want it to be. And I personally like to keep it as subtle as possible. So this is a very, very great way that you can achieve the film look on your photos. Using the link in the description below, you can use my code DV10 for 10% off of the plugin. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.